Welcome to Closets Are For Clothes. Happy Monday. This week we're basically going to be talking about being gay in school and like coming out of the closet or being in the closet at school, you know, how your friends have accepted you or losing friends, teachers who are mean, teachers who accept you. Um, I'm actually going to include some statistics because I think that helps understand like exactly the problems that we have in school. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I started to get bullied when I was in fifth grade. Guys were calling me gay because all my friends were girls. I didn't do things that they did and I wasn't like them. I didn't play sports. I didn't go out and play football at recess. I was more like play on the swings with all the girls, I guess. Um, I sat with girls at lunch and people just decided they thought I was gay because all my friends were girls. I didn't even know I was. And so, to me, it was like, I just learned what that term even meant. And it was like, I don't want to be that if that's what everybody hates. So, all the way up to middle school, when I started to realize I was, I completely hid it for a while. And eventually, it kind of slowly leaked out. You know, a lot of um, guys who are gay take the, you know, the bisexual bridge. And that's what I did. I felt like to my friends, I'd be like, oh, I'm bi, but really I know I'm gay, and I'll date a few girls here and there to cover up to the people who don't even know I like guys, period. And, um, through that time, I was, like, it's not like I would get beat up after school, and I had it pretty fortunate that it was just very verbal, but verbal can be hurtful, and it did hurt a lot. It wasn't until near the end of my eighth grade year in middle school that I decided, whatever, I'll tell my friends and my some of my family that I'm gay, and um, it'll be good. Nobody else at school will know. Well, I get into my freshman year in high school, and I decide, whatever, I'm just going to start being open about it. Somebody asks me, whatever. You know, it was weird. People started asking me if I was gay, and I'd just say yes, and they'd be like, oh, okay. You know, people weren't surprised. I mean, it's slightly obvious, for one, and for two, it's like, okay, it's a little more, we're in high school now, you know, people are mature, they don't go around at high, like, in elementary school, like, hey, Logan likes boys, you know, it's not like that. I'm going to be including some statistics, like I said at the beginning of the video, just to get my message across in this video, because I think being bullied for being gay or being bullied period is just wrong and kids are taking their lives because of it and people don't understand that you know i don't have a problem with people who are against homosexuality because that's what you were raised around that's what you believe i understand that but if you're going to sit there and bully somebody for liking a boy or a girl liking a girl that's not okay Suicide is the leading cause of death among gay and lesbian youth. They are two to six times more likely to attempt suicide than heterosexual youth. And over 30% of all teen suicides are committed by gay and teen youth. Approximately 28% of gay and lesbian youth drop out of high school because they feel discomfort or unsafe in their school environment. 27% of gay and lesbian youth are physically harmed by another student in school. In a typical class of 30 students, 8 students, or 27% of the entire class, will be directly affected by homosexuality itself, one or more siblings, or even one of their parents. There are teachers out there who are just as bad as students when it comes to bullying gay people. They don't do anything when they hear about a student who is being bullied for being gay or anything like that. There are teachers who are completely supportive about it. Like, I have several teachers who just know. You know, I don't even have to come out and say it to them, but they know, and they, I can almost talk to them about it, it seems like. And it's really welcoming, and it's a good thing. But there are teachers who, you know, I'll walk down the hallway and I'll just get looks from teachers and you just know. It's just, like, if you're gay and you 
get a look from another student. And you can just tell they know and they hate you for it. But enough about all the emotional, bullying, heartbreaking crap. Let's talk about our new member. We have a new member coming on Thursday. He's, his name is Matt. He's 18. He's now the oldest, which makes me still the youngest. Um, so we're excited about that and grateful that he can step in. So thank you. So that's it for today. Um, I will see you all next Monday. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. We still need more views and we still need more subscribers. So just click that button or up there, I don't know, somewhere up there, I guess. Click it because we need you a lot. So thank you. Um, I'll see you next Monday on Closets Are For Close. Bye.